Newsroom, you may not have felt it, but there was a rumble off the coast this evening. This is the U.S. Geological Survey's website. That star off the coast is where an earthquake happened at around 6.30, measured about 4.7. And you can see from the impact rings, we didn't feel and shake anything here on land. Still, not something we see often here in Virginia. Well, let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Don Slater, who's in the Weather Center now. Uh, and he kind of went over some of this. Thankfully, mm -hmm. we didn't have to be worried about it here on land. Yeah, we haven't seen any really major earthquake activity here in Virginia since 2011, but, you know, this was different. Yeah, this was, a, this was quite a bit different. I went and looked back uh, for any kind of earthquakes in recorded history that were in this general area, and I found none. So this is a very, very rare, rare occurrence. We're not likely to see a tsunami out of this. It would have happened by now anyway. Uh, and again, so I'm not concerned about this at all. But one thing to note uh, is that it is, again, well, a couple of things to note. Uh, it is uh, uh, 6.2 miles in depth, or 10 kilometers, 136 miles to the east-southeast of Ocean City. And again, it's way off the coastline. It's well on uh, to the east of the continental shelf. And it was about 155 miles uh, to the east, for example, of the eastern shore. One thing to note about the continental shelf is it is basically eons and eons of muck, uh, stuff that's flowed in off the Chesapeake Bay, that's coming off the land. Uh, and it's really kind of like pudding, like chocolate pudding. Uh, it's really, really thick. And it's eons of, of uh, mud uh, that's out there. And then there's a very, very steep drop off into the abyss. If this would have loosened some of this, and what we call Call it this avalanche of muck. It's called a, a slump that could have created a tidal uh, uh, tsunami. Uh, but again, we didn't see that problem whatsoever. So kind of a rare occurrence.